Hello dudes and dudesses and welcome to yet another video, ouch, if you're not subscribed or please do subscribe and if you like the video do leave it a like and we'll be going through this crazy farm together. I'm not sure if I should dub this uh, video a CRAZY CONCEPT or just a concept video because it is kind of crazy but it's also absolutely do uh, doable so but basically I was watching Doc m 77s Hermitcraft videos and I saw him make an infinite Acelia farm and I thought to myself that would be a nice, chal nice challenge to see if I can make it simpler and I I hope I have. So uh, let me show you what's going on. We're making a Celia three, tree here and we do, don't need any player involvement at all. It's just, you know, going on its own and it has to do with the mechanics of uh, the Acelia tree and how it works. So uh, the system basically consists of uh, two, <laughs> yeah, two double layered moss farms because it takes a lot of bone meal to uh, to get the to drive this to fuel this so to speak you can see this is one layer that consists of uh, three stone generators pushing in from three sides and we have two layers and there's all kind of moss and moss carpets and uh, acelia saplings being bone milled and we have exactly the same mirrored over here and each layer will produce 800 bone meal, so it's 8, 16, 24, around 3,000 bone meals an hour to drive this farm. And well, that's kind of crazy. We have this uh, part right here where we can actually accumulate, and it goes down here, gets pushed up uh, by an elevator up to here, and then we divide it with this double chest. Some of it goes in uh, that direction in here, which actually creates the trees. And some of it goes in here, which actually uh, produces the acelia saplings. So I will show you a bit later. And we have exactly the same on the other side, as I said. The uh, bone, the moss farm, the bone meal farms is my own design, but you can replace it with uh, any bone meal farm that produces enough. Now the farm might look complicated, but this part right here, for instance, and this part right here, and this part right here, is only like redstone to make sure that we can turn off all the farms, all the modules or the parts in on, with one lever. And these two, uh, the moss farms, they have their own connectors or disconnectors right here. If you're not familiar with the basic of moss and bone meal, you can see I put a moss block and it spreads out in a considerable area and it produces sometimes a sapling. If you bone meal it again, it has a chance of producing one of these saplings in all the area. And that's what we are utilizing in this farm right here. Uh, this is the one that we are bone mealing to get the saplings. You can see it spreads to this block over here. So we do try again and we try until uh, and there was a sapling and it got bone milled and then uh, there's a tree there and now it's dirt so it doesn't work but when we bone meal it again it turns into moss and it has a new chance of producing uh, a tree so let's just try it. and it happened again right there and you can see and we moss it bone meal it and it turns into moss so that's that's basically how the farm works and exactly the same thing is going on on the other side in here now if we look at the farms without any leaves it's easier to see that it's quite a simple construction we actually have two set of pushes and two set of side pushes uh, this is where the, the the trees are grown right here on that block and on the other side on this block right here and let's just move this and you can see this is the original block that we bone meal now if we look at this you can see there's two blocks pushing in on this right there and they either push a tree if that's made a tree or they clear the area 
and down here if we turn it on you can see uh, they push in a certain way so first they push forward and clear the block of the tree and then they push in from the side if there's any wood that has grown up there and then it's kind of funneled into the middle where it goes out into the blast chamber out there now if we look down here and try and see yeah there's some bone meal and there's some bone meal right here and we have an observer looking at this piston this piston is used to crush everything that's on that uh, mush block just put in some more and then uh, it sends out a signal to that uh, block right then then we have a repeater on a delay so it doesn't go that fast let's just look at it like that you can see and it's pushing there and it's producing something on that block that is moved by the uh, tree or the, the the pushing pistons like that until eventually there will be a sapling that will be bone milled over like that and then you have a tree like that and it gets pushed out and then that is turned into a mush block again and that's how the farm works it's quite simple i think back here we have a clock and that's just a clock that's uh, driving everything the uh, pushing mechanism and when we put it together uh, you can see that it has the delays that pushes out and uh, it has delays on the sides as well above that we have uh, the tnt section it has its own clock that's going right here and it goes out to a dispenser and we have three layers of powdered snow to uh, make a delay so it won't go all the way down we actually modified this later as you can see over here let's just turn this off and go over here as you can see we kind of modified it so we uh, have three layers of snow right here which means it goes down and explodes somewhere around here making sure that the top ones get taken out the top uh, logs and then the second time it goes it only has two layers which means it goes down here and make sure the bottom layers are out and i also made a slight change over here this is the primary must block and there's a lot of stuff produced on that before it just looked uh, at the dispenser and uh, uh, looked down and then it was another dispenser looking that way now it made it look that way that way that way and then i placed a hopper minecart on powered rails uh, so i can have a hopper underneath and that means that it still works but it gets or everything is sucked out and get bone milled and are pushed up into the system so we actually utilize what's made on that block that's uh, that uh, composter all the other composters are just to reduce the lag from the hoppers so it gets uh, pushed up there and is just connected with that system right there now if we turn it all on again you can see i made some other small modifications to the original simple farm which is this right here i just noticed that when the leaves are crushed when the uh, locks are moved often uh, there's a lot of the stuff that goes up here and we might as well bone meal it so i'll try and wait till something arrives uh, it's actually quite a lot of stuff so it should be any time now and we go in slow motion and you can see there was a musk carpet maybe it doesn't mean all that much but i just uh, opted for having it there so it goes down in hoppers right here and gets bone milled as well and go into this system i have noticed one uh, quaint thing i think if you look at the f3 screen you can see we're looking south and we're looking west and east and for some reason this dispenser right here uh, it favors input from this side so it always will take input from this side before this side which means that uh, if they're running simultaneously bone meal will pile up uh, over here i had them running a bit before i started the farm but it should even itself out as the farm runs so it shouldn't be a problem it's just something that's strange all right Dudes and dude this is thank you for watching. I will uh, leave a world download of this in my Discord community and you can go in and play with it yourself. 
and i will just say thank you for watching and if you like the video remember to leave a like it helps the channel and we want to get to a million viewers tomorrow <laughs> <laughs>